So what we're really talking about is the direction of the movement. So uh, in this case, I'm going wipe from left, fly in from top, you can see that, or float up from bottom. So I'm gonna go through those one more time. Wipe from left, fly in from bottom, and float up from top. So these are the animation effect options. So let's take a look at how we do that. So now um, we're in animations. I'm going to select this, and then I'm going to do uh, wipe. That puts it here on the left, and it's happening on click, duration, but then we have effect options on the right here. And so I'm gonna change this to from left, right? So when we look at it here, it wipes from left, right? So now let's do fly in from the top. So I will go to the entrance effects and do fly in. The default is from the bottom. And so now I'm gonna do it from the top. And while we're here, let's go ahead and do the float up from bottom as well. Um, so that is down here, float in from bottom. So that's actually the default. So let's just take a look to make sure we got this right. Wipe from left, fly in from top, float up from bottom. Again, just managing the, the direction in which these items animate. So we can do the same thing for disappear. So you can see the options here. Uh, the first one is from left, fly out is to bottom, float out from bottom. So I won't take you through the, all the options there, but I think you know what I'm, what I'm getting at here. And um, as we're thinking about these motions and things happening, you'll see some other options here for animation of options that are the speed effect. And you'll see smooth end, smooth start, bounce end. Um, I really like using smooth end is one of the things I like. And what this means is that there's sort of a, a velocity that something is moving. And when you smooth end, it makes it slow at the end. So it kind of arrives more elegantly. So I'll show you a smooth, smooth landing uh, here. And you see how in that last little bit, it slows down some. So let's take a look at uh, how to do that. So we will have a shape that we want to animate. This is going to be flying in. So we'll go over here to our animation pane and make sure we want it from the left. And we wanna do smooth end here. And then um, let's take a look. I'm gonna hit my button here. It's hard to see sometimes, but it does make for just a, like a smooth landing as I've called it on the screen. And we can also do one for an exit where this is the smooth start. And this is a little bit harder to, uh, to see, but let's take a look at how that works. All right, do it one more time. So it's just a little bit of a hesitation there. And if, if that's something that uh, that adds to your experience, then I certainly think it's useful, uh, but it's not required for doing, for doing this. So let's talk a little bit more about duration. So this is how long it takes for an animation to complete. So that this is just a few examples here. So half a second, you see how fast this comes in. Half a second one second, two seconds. And before, in one of the other videos, we talked about how sometimes slow animations feel boring and it may be just too slow. And I think that animations wanna be snappy. Like you wanna make the pe person feel like they're getting through something and they're not sitting around waiting for two seconds for something to come into play. So I don't often use that. I use half a second or one second. And so let's look at this in a couple of other contexts. So wipe is one, that's a one second wipe. And this is a float that's 0.3 seconds. So here I've customized the duration to make it quick. And then this is a longer, slower effect. So that's a three second effect of something growing. And again, we'll look at the smooth start here. Um, there, uh, smooth end, and then there's the bounce end. And there's a place for that. It's not personally my favorite, but that's another way that you can animate the arrival of something in an effect is to have it bounce there at the end. So let's take a look at how I've done this in PowerPoint. Um, so we have uh, the half second here and you can see all of the options here. So this half second smooth in and we can see here at the bottom that I've chosen the half second very fast. Uh, on the one second option, 
one second, and so on. So let's look at float, this float here. This is number five. So here I've used the customization to make it 0.3. So I can even make it, you know, 0.37, for instance, if I really want to get detailed. So remember that these durations can be uh, customized at a pretty uh, minute level if you want to get the timings just right. So let's talk about combining animations. We talked about before doing, uh, you know, making them do on one click where two animations happen. Let's take that a little bit of a step further here. And so um, this is getting into some features that are not built into PowerPoint, but they're a method of using PowerPoint's features to make things happen. So let's take a look at this example here. So one click makes them disappear, right? So where one click makes them replace each other, right? So uh, we talked about how we do this in PowerPoint. Uh, we would make, in this case, we'll make uh, this appear. So we set this here in the thing on click, and then we'll set this to disappear. And so now we have two things. Now the key here, the key point is for the disappear to not be on click, but to be after previous. And so this is seems very simple, but we're building onto an idea here. So then when I hit the one button once, it disappears, right? Do that one more time. So let's build on this idea. So um, now we can do it with a delay. So we'll see the delay option here. So I'm going to show you the example. All right, you see how there's like a little half second delay there. So what's happening here is we are setting this to appear we're setting this next one to disappear, and we can do after previous or with previous. Let's go ahead and just do with previous, but then there's this delay option. So this really gives you the potential to not make it happen immediately, but give it, you know, I'm gonna give it one, one second here. And so what we'll see is the animation appearing one second and then disappearing. So again, Really simple idea, but these are, again, foundational things that you'll find lots of opportunities to use uh, for your animations that aren't quite so simple, but you need to know that, that it's possible first. So now, a little bit more complicated, we will take this another step further, where we will have an animation fly in and then something appears, right? So that's really um, simple enough. We will have this fly in and then we'll have this appear and then for the, the second thing that's appearing we'll have it happen after previous right so one click is all it takes and then it appears right fly in appear right okay so simple simple but now we can add effects to this situation as well so now we can start to sort of chain together some actions that are happening in this same context so um so now I'm gonna use two clicks to, uh, to make a shape change shape. So we'll have one click for making it grow or making it fly in and then another click for making it grow, right? So that's again, a fairly simple animation. I'll show you how that works. So we'll have it fly in and then we will go to effects here and have it grow and let's, uh, Yep, we can, we can look at some of the effect options like we did before. It's set to 150, okay, that's good. So let's see how it works. I will go one, whoops, one click to make it fly in and then another click to make it grow, right? Okay, so let's take that another step further and then um, we'll, we will make that happen simultaneously or only with one click, so again here, We'll have it come in and then grow immediately. I don't only had to click it once there. And so that is really just a matter of having it fly in and then grow. Whoops. So one thing to notice here, fly in is one animation. And now if you want to add an effect to the animation, you'll need to select the shape and then add the effect. So we'll add here and Let's, this time, we want to have it, it to happen automatically, so we will go to after previous. So now we'll have it fly in and then grow, right? So it's simple enough, right? So now we're gonna combine these so that the shape flies in and grows at the same time. 
So let's look at how that works. Now you see how that happened together, right? So there's a couple of things going on here. And let's look at how we do this. So we want it to fly in. We know that. Let's go ahead and make this from the left so it matches. And then we want it to uh, also grow, but we need to select the shape first and then add the effect to it. So now what we can do is select the effect and then go down to our timing options and say with previous. So, um, so now we're gonna see something that, that is a little bit confusing. So watch what happens when I, I, I do this animation, right? It didn't really work the way we want, even though it's with previous. And the problem here is the duration doesn't match. So we need to match the duration. So if we look at rectangle three fly in, it's doing half a second. So let's, let's make that two seconds. And then the effect the duration of the effect also needs to match to make it look right. So this is two seconds now. So now with them matching, it happens all at the same time. It ends the place you expect it to, and it feels really natural. So that's another combination of effect and animation and then duration um, as well. So we're getting a little bit more complicated here in terms of how we're managing these animations. We can even get more complicated here. Um, and what, so you'll see here, we can even add uh, two effects to it where um, it's not just flying in, but spinning as well, right? So that's another option here. So really quickly, what we're looking at here is a peer that we have in the, in the pane here. And then we've assigned it the grow shrink with previous here. And then another effect with previous and we've made sure that all of these durations are one second. They all match so that when we watch the animation, it all happens and feels nice and natural. So uh, again, lots of options for making that, uh, making that work for your animations.